in the coach. Is that the Citra? In combination with the noble German. Lady knows her stuff. You feel that? It's an earthquake. You can head across the street and you'll be okay over there. Oh my. Maybe about 40 people inside in need of treatment or some kind of on-site evaluation. Where do you need me? Back at the hospital. We're short on surgeons. Okay. Sean, uh, Leah was here. Where is she now? I don't know. She was inside when the tanks fell down, but the first responders are going to find her. Sean? This area needs to be stabilized before any medical person. Leah! I am not afraid. I'm not afraid. Of course you are. You know why? Because this is stupid scary. You should be up there doing your job. Not down here. Leah needs me. No, she doesn't. You always said I could do... Because I believed in you. Right now, I don't. She doesn't love you. She told you. She thinks you're limited. You are. You're not her hero. Please help. Sean, where are you? I found a woman with shoulder and leg impalements. I'm going to extract the shoulder, but freeing the leg could sever the posterior tibial artery. That sounds bad. You would die. What's the leg impaled on? Mm. It appears to be steel rebar. We'll send down a firefighter. Now, once they've sawed through the rebar, they'll transport her up. And keep this channel open so I can hear you. Have they found Leah? No. They're still searching. Okay. What are you doing? Sterilizing the instrument. Do you know someone with cancer? I'm curious why you were at a fundraiser for cancer research. I was there for a man. One without cancer or any interest in being with me. My ex-boyfriend is on the board of the charity. Why did you want to see your ex-boyfriend? I guess I hoped he'd realize he was still in love with me and beg me to take him back. Clever, huh? I understand. I still want Leah to be my girlfriend. But she doesn't feel the same way. I have autism. Oh, Sean, that shouldn't be. <laughs> Studies have shown that anticipation only heightens pain. I used small talk to distract you. You need to get out. 
soon. Not cool, son. You need to get out now. It's not stable. Kira can't leave. The firefighters told me they're making great headway and they'll be able to save Vera soon, but you need to get out of the way. Are you lying? We need to go, Sean. If I leave, you die. Cut through the rebar. <laughs> but I can cut through your leg. In the Civil War, there was a doctor who could amputate limbs in under three minutes, which kept blood loss and pain to a minimum, thus reducing the effect of shock. Our scalpels are sharper, so I can slice through the skin and muscle faster, and I only saw the rebar with the top half of the saw, so the bottom half is still pristine to get through the bone. Do you consent to the procedure? No. I have one condition. You have to promise me that if I don't make it, you'll move on. deserve to find love. You need to. You're down here risking your life for me, right? Well, this is me risking my life for you. Promise me you'll move on, Sean. I promise. Let's do this. He had morphine? I saved it in case I needed to do this. Good thinking, not telling me. Yes. The upside? In three minutes, I'm gonna lose 10 pounds. I'd say only eight, unless you count blood loss and- you take everything literally. No. Leah? I need you to count off the seconds from one to 180. I want to know how close I am to three minutes. How will that help you? I don't think it will, but it may help distract you from the screaming. Ready? No! Just do it, for God's sake! Sean. Sean. Sean, can you hear me? Sean! 